to take today to do a little room rundown, rig rundown, slash, um, where I do like a little room overview of where I do all my editing, where my computer's at, where I record bass stuff, um, play some games in, so bring you into the room so you can check it out. So on the outside here I have this little privacy screen because this used to be one of our rooms that had like a TV in it in the morning and everything. Quick little look around. So obviously here we got my setup. I have this honestly just Chinese, you know, eBay bought light up keyboard. Has a couple effects on it. Breathing. And then swivel and that way you can kind of see the colors that it does so I like the dark blue myself <clears throat> I got charger for my GoPro 5 batteries charger for my GoPro 4 batteries a couple little trinkets here it's a captain fallen captain from destiny with a shank over here we got a warlock this little blue thing on him is a void bomb this this character is actually me as a 3D printed figure when I went to a con. My first con I ever went to was called Connect. It was called Comic Con, um, but not the Comic Con. It was uh, not like Comic Con. It was like it was called Comic Con. So um, it was in Connecticut. So it's weird little one offshoot thing. I think I paid like 30 bucks to get myself 3D printed. I was dressed up as Bane that day. Um, obviously this thing has seen a little bit of wear. I dropped it a couple times. But you can see like I had the tank on me and there was something sticking out of my head. I had the wires that Bane has running into him. So I thought that was a really cool memento. Next to it, I got this character that was from Skylanders that is actually called Cinder. I had Bearded Dragon back in the day, and his name was Cinder. Someone got me this skull from Cosmel. I forget exactly where I got this lizard. I forget off the top of my head where I got the lizard. This lizard is also named Cinder because he was bought in New York by my friend Miranda. I think she was the one who got the Cosmo skull for me also. Um, and he's made out of banana leaves. Got my GoPro. I got my Fallout. I think I got this with um, Fallout 3 back in the day. My Bunch 7 full wallet. Some stickers. Honestly, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite things I have. Unfortunately, it has gotten wet and it actually patinaed. But I think it's super cool and super special. It's a septum from the game Oblivion. And I got it with the collector's edition. But as you can see, it was like actually made out of some kind of metal where when it got wet, it like started to change. So... Still have it. Still one of my favorite things. I think it's super cool. Got Baby Groot over here. Looking back, I got lava lamps on both sides. The batteries are dead in them, unfortunately. But this is a 4K ASUS monitor. Runs at 60 frames per second. Um, I do a lot of my gaming on this. This is a ultra wide 34 inch. Sorry, this is a 27 inch 4K. 34 inch ultra wide LG screen. Really love these screens. It's actually the only two I've ever bought in my life, like actually bought brand new. 
Um, this bear tooth flag actually hides some wires that I use for my Oculus. Just finish up with the table here. Obviously, this is my computer. I call it the Ice Cube because it's a Corsair 240 um, micro ITX. I'm running a Xenon. One second, I'll open it up. Just to show show it opened up and shoot some light in there. I am lucky enough to have a GeForce GTA, GTX 1080 Ti EVGA Super Overclock 2. Love the card; it's amazing. Um, I have an aftermarket cooler because I wanted it to be low profile. Thought about replacing it. Actually, funny enough because I know it's a little gummed up. Got some um, G-Skills Rip Jaws, and I don't know what the black memory in there is. I actually had to cut some of the cooler off of one of the black memory just so it would fit next to that um, aftermarket cooler. But my temps on my CPU stay extremely low. I obviously have the blue fan. Corsair on there. I got Corsair F's, I think. No, sorry. So that's an A. That's a Corsair SP120. I got Corsair SP120s from the top. And I got Corsair AF's on the front here. Um, micro ITX board, only four PCI slots. I actually run two 3.0 USB cards on it because. I have no USB cards, or I have no 3.0 headers on my actual board. My board's much older. So my board is a Asus Rampage Genie 2. It's an older board. I'm running a Intel Xenon that has six cores. It's a W3670 um, at 3.2 gigahertz. All the cores run at that. Really awesome processor. Um, I have 18 gigs of RAM in there. The situation's much older, so that's why I don't have the 3.0 headers. But thing runs like a beast, especially with that card, the graphics card in there. Um, can't ask for much better than that. 120 gig SSD as my boot drive. I have a 450 storage, a two terabyte storage, and then you can kind of see behind here, behind the Voltec bobblehead, I got this WD Easy store, and it's an eight terabyte that I got on Black Friday for a wicked good deal. I got these monitors at a tag sale I think for ten dollars that's why I use this as my primary sound system in here love to get something better with like a real subwoofer but life happens you know so that's what I'm running for now would love to upgrade at some point but for what I'm actually doing you know I think I paid three hundred fifty dollars for twelve gigs of RAM the heart the CPU and the motherboard so I was I got a really really good deal my one of my CPUs got fried somehow my only guess is that at the time I found that there was some wet dust on top as you can see top of my case does get dirty I purposely left it there just so I can show in this video that it does get nice dirty dusty thick disgusting and I think someone in my house had wiped it down with a wet rag dripped a little bit in there while the tank while the actual computer was on completely wiped out my CPU it was dead and
Sorry, I'm wrong. I don't know what I was thinking. No, it actually fried my motherboard. And so my motherboard was wiped out. I had to buy a brand new one. That really sucked. That was a whole catastrophe that I had to go through. I forgot to actually show this before. If you bought an Xbox One or 12 months of Xbox Live, something like that, you got this special card. I put it right there because I'm a Xbox gamer. Got my EVGA tag. Now I'll go over some of the other stuff in the room. I got these headphones. Samson SR850 headphones. That is what I use when I am playing bass through my Behringer um, Euphoria here. This is a amazing deal for what it's creating in terms of sound connecting to your PC. You know, for four inputs, I think I paid 200 bucks for this thing. It rocks, it's great, I really enjoy it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. Please subscribe, like, share this with your friends if they think they would be into my content or anything coming up. I might actually be trying to repair my friend's controller using the innards of this one over here. So that's going to be an upcoming video. Hope you've enjoyed all this content and have a great day, guys.